What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with a freaky update of Justin Rodriguez. When Justin is on, that back double bicep is one hell of a shot for him. Justin's stocks are down at the moment. Not only because of his Olympia performance, but the three shows that he did after Boston Pro last year. I really feel like Justin should have rested and recover after Boston Pro because that look was extremely dangerous. Nick Walker even said that if Justin would have won Boston Pro over William Bonac, no one would have complained. But unfortunately, Justin could not duplicate that dryness and fullness in any of the shows that he competed after Boston Pro and Arnold Classic. So Justin needs to bring the best shape of his career in 4 weeks. Because this lineup is so diverse that even with his best, he would struggle to crack top 4. Regan Grimes was told by his coach Milos not to talk to him unless he is 300 pounds. And today, Regan achieved that milestone. I believe it is the heaviest he has ever been. So we will definitely witness a lot of difference in the size and overall muscularity. According to Regan himself, his best was the Legion Sports, where he beat Sergio Oliva Jr. And that's speaking from the perspective of conditioning. But the size just wasn't there. Now that package with 10 more pounds of quality muscle will drastically change his luck. And 10 pounds, that's not an unrealistic target because Regan hasn't competed since Boston Pro last year. So that's a long off season. Regan's structure is extremely promising. I do not, however, agree when people say that he is a bigger version of Derek Lansford. There is no IFB pro who has that freaky lot twist ratio that Derek has, and that includes Regan Grimes. But Regan is classic for sure. So let's see what show he hits this year and how much improved package will he bring the next time he steps on stage. Guess who is the other classic open guy who is soon gonna hit 300 pounds? That's the best from Brazil, Rafael Brandao. Man, he is growing fast. I am pretty sure he decided to skip the Arnold Classic this year because he had a bigger picture in his mind. I know it is a long shot, but Rafael really believes that he can win Mr. Olympia one day. And to accomplish that, he needs more size because no matter what people say, it is open bodybuilding after all. He was good enough to crack top 10 at his debut Olympia, which is a huge accomplishment. So if all goes well, Chris Asicho will have two guys, Andrew Jagd and Rafael Brandao, fighting for the top sports at this year's Mr. Olympia. Rafael is a unique athlete because of his superb shape. The thickness that he lacks currently, that can be attained over time. But that shape, that's pure genetics. Either you are born with it or you don't have it. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.